when I was a kid, I used to watch Perry Mason with my mother. And one of the things I liked about the program was right above his left shoulder in his office was this mask that hung on the wall. And I really, I always really enjoyed that sculpture. And every time I watched Perry Mason, that was the main reason I was watching it. Well, it has been probably two or three months ago. I was over at a friend's house and we were sitting at his table and I looked up on the wall and there was the Perry Mason mask hanging on his wall. So I said, dude, that's a Perry Mason mask. And he goes, nah, he says, that's just some old plaster thing I got off my grandparents. But we did some research and it is the Perry Mason mask. And he loaned it to me. I pulled a mold off of it. I wanted to have one hanging above my desk. So I made one. Uh, this was the first one here. And after I had one, I couldn't stop. And I've just been making them ever since. This is Moses. Thou shalt not lust after Della Street. This is a Jackson Pollock one that I did, right down to the crushed cigarette. He often crushed cigarette butts into his paintings. Uh, I think it makes them worth more, maybe. That's what I've heard. <laughs> this is Mr. Peanut. I thought we needed to have a Mr. Peanut into the, into the mix. This one was done with engine heat paint and chalk and then I sealed it in with shellac. This is one I, I made, I wanted it to be invisible when you hung it on a brick wall. I got it close, but uh, not quite. But it's, this one's gonna have graffiti written across it and there'll be two more with this one. And this one is, is made of wax, uh, which will be translated into bronze. Uh, my friend Dave that loaned me the original mask is making a cabinet and we're gonna have two of these as cabinet doors, uh, which ought to be pretty slick. It's kind of an Andy Warhol thing. Uh, they just make a really good canvas to hold up your colors.